to have people let me tell you this you don't need up to 24 hours to be offended you just need to wake up in the morning and find out someone ate your remaining food and you want to kill somebody that morning and and you know the devil studies us and when he sees that good things are about to come he will use offense to cause you to abort everything have you noticed that when seasons are about to open it's like everything offends you you go to pray after fasting for six hours and praying you come out and the first person is your loved one and he says we've been looking for you are you the only one who is a christian don't be stupid that's the devil the devil is trying to rob you of joy because of something that is coming it is not the physical people talking to you no notice that when seasons are shifting and great things are about to happen there is agitation from the kingdom of hell everything seems to fight you that is the time to rejoice in the lord and again i say rejoice this cloth you are wearing to church ah you are dressing as if you're a grandmother no problem you just laugh it away and create a joke out of it not are you stupid did you ever give me anything i've just been keeping quiet oh let me tell you what you did 10 years uh, my turn is come no 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 thank you for watching christian house channel do you have the courage the stamina and the maturity to look at your yesterday and still smile at it apostle my father didn't believe in me i understand but maybe he didn't know better can you be like the king who called the man when people become broken and repentant and in need of mercy as much as it is within your power show them mercy what i'm teaching you is unpopular but these are deep kingdom mysteries that will make people vow a vow and say forever i will make sure that i bless you i will make sure that i pray for you mercy I've shared my story I think one of my experiences in this church a number of times how that many years ago I went to buy sugar cane remember the story and then I met these two women and they were trying to bring out money from their their rapper and I, I said please let me let me help you and they said no 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 I said please I insist it was not more than 100 naira and I bought the sugar cane for them I felt so happy and then they began to bless me and then one of the women said my son forever walk upon gold a woman who cannot was barely trying to lose there are times that you will be in kairos moments of your life and it will not just be prayer and fasting it will be the discernment to show mercy you will pick somebody in your car apostle there are armed robbers in nigeria i know but there are also angels in nigeria moving to bless people hallelujah one day you pick somebody in your car and he just gives you one message and drops and you did not know that you picked an angel you thought you picked a passenger many of us have ignored seasons of breakthrough because our hearts were not merciful do you know how many people who live today in regret because they had an opportunity to help they had an opportunity to show kindness they had an opportunity to show mercy they vowed and said no way like your merciful servant and years down the line the people they thought will never rise because there is still a god in heaven and god routed the lifting of those people through some other means and now the people have become great one day you open an office door and you find out that it was someone who used to sweep your house before who begged you one day and say it's true i'm sorry i stole i stole the money but it was out of pressure my mother was sick and i didn't have the courage to ask you i am sorry you say you are sorry you will first work without salary number two i'm still deciding whether i will kill you or leave you alive i want to sow seeds of mercy in my life to show people so much compassion that after many years i should be able to walk the streets of lagos without protocol without it doesn't have to be on or only when you are preaching that you can be at the atm and someone says god forbid i will not let you take your five naira when i'm here and you say what happened 
your message you gave it free to me i didn't pay for it and that's what blessed me or you gave me your message and somebody just bought the whole cds and gave me as a gift i thank you for teaching that message what can i do for you i said no 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 just want to withdraw something say no is this your son yes please let me sponsor this child up till university give me an honor to do that a prayer point answered in one minute because you were merciful being merciful is a powerful seed it does not die please believe me this is the parable god this parable is a caution god is speaking to us and telling us that some of us are making mistakes you have obtained mercy from god and you have Thank obtained you mercy from men you must begin to live your life intentionally showing mercy intentionally sowing seeds mommy i know about this house help i know that she's been lazy she's not been a very nice lady but the other day i heard her crying and telling god to help her that means in spite of her misbehavior something in her loves the lord could we try to talk to her one day instead of saying you are a useless lady like your useless mother and your useless father who gave birth to you many people have done that and today they are biting their fingers in regret because that little girl will grow up and she will go to secondary school and join one small fellowship and encounter the holy ghost and then become a great lady and one day one man who is somebody else's harvest will just come and marry that girl marry her into blessings prepared blessings and they drive and come to your house with your own children watching god knows how to reward people and god knows how to deal with people ask pharaoh god knows how to bring people to their knees and so this is a message for us to be merciful say i receive grace Please shout. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.